This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 5th of July. I'm James Spann. Hopefully uh, things change next week a little bit as uh, rain chances go up, heat levels come down. That sounds pretty good. Let's get in there and talk about it. We'll check some of the sky cam shots around the network. First off, coming from Cheehaw State Park. Got some pretty big storms not too far from there. Uh, through parts of Calhoun counties and Etowah counties uh, to the north as I do this update. We'll go up north, up in the Tennessee Valley. Again, some really uh, big uh, towers there you can see off in the distance. we got some hefty storms up over the valley. That's the uh, sky cam overlooking the Tennessee River at Decatur. And we got a peek at the Gulf Shore sky cam. Why not on a day after the 4th of July? A lot of folks out there having fun with a surf in the sand. That view coming from high atop the Phoenix All Suites. Got the big upper ridge over much of the nation. Uh, and you can see pockets of convection underneath that. The, the core of the heat is centered up towards St. Louis. Uh, down this way, temperatures are mostly in the middle 90s at mid-afternoon, 95 for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Anniston. But goodness, look up there at the Shoals. Every day they've been hitting triple digits for a long time. I think they've done triple digits 11 out of the last 12 days up there. They are the hot spot in Alabama. They have just been baking uh, this summer up there. And around the nation, again, you can see the core of the heat centered from about Memphis to Chicago. And next week, we're thinking that nasty heat moves west and the east cools down nicely. Cities like Chicago, Cleveland, Milwaukee, they're going to get some really nice heat relief with a cold front uh, early next week. All right, there you go. Scattered afternoon storms. It's a summer day. You know they're out there. That's a 228. Those storms moving southwest today. And we note north of us, there's a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of uh, eastern Tennessee for that uh, big uh, MCS uh, dropping to the southwest out of Kentucky and uh, Virginia on the periphery of the Ring of Fire around the upper high. We'll see if that stuff holds together. But again, for now, it just looks like scattered convection down here. SPC has a slight risk of severe weather down into northeast Alabama. But any of these storms today uh, could produce uh, some hail and strong gusty winds, the typical pulse-type storms. And tomorrow, again, down here, just the low end, 5% chance. The slight risk is way up north. Rain for the next five days. Good to see the colors looking a little more vivid there. Uh, this is valid through Tuesday morning of next week, and this is suggesting rain amounts of uh, about one inch or more here. And we all know that some spot spots could see that in only an hour or so with just one individual storm. But no doubt, we think the coverage of the rain will be increasing early next week. And tropical weather things are quiet. A little wave coming through uh, Puerto Rico and uh, Hispaniola, but no sign of any organization there. And tropical storm formation is not expected for a while. Let's check the GFS. This is the 12Z run valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon uh, at 500 millibars. 594 ring represents the center of the heat. Kansas City, St. Louis, Chicago, nasty hot weather there, but down here more of the same. Scattered afternoon showers and storms. Highs probably mid to upper 90s. You pretty much know the deal. Same thing Saturday and the same thing Sunday. Uh, perhaps a little increase in convection Sunday. Um, better chance afternoon and evening there might be a late night or a morning shower. Go to Monday of next week, and ooh, there's your pattern change. The ridge moving to the west, a nice trough beginning to carve out over the east, and down below that, a surface cold front knocking on the door from the north. And that could bring a nice increase in the amount of convection. There's Tuesday, that cold front near Muscle Shoals, and with it stalling out up there, that should set the stage for scattered to numerous showers and storms. And by golly, the GFS has highs only in the upper 80s Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. There's the European. Uh, this is valid uh, Tuesday evening of next week. And again, this is back at uh, 500 millibars. And that clearly shows the story that the heat is out west. Nice, cooler trough over the east. Sure sounds good. There's Wednesday. Cold front not pushing through here. They rarely ever do that in July. And Thursday of next week, evidence of dry air trying to creep in here, but not so sure that happens. So again, next week, heat levels down, rain chances up. And that's good. Check the end of the forecast, July 21st. Center of the heat way out west, Wyoming. They can have it. And down here, 
pretty soupy air. That means at least scattered showers and storms and maybe even numerous at times if that's right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning. And don't forget to watch ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side if you can. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.